Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein. This is some initial thoughts on Ticket to Ride Japan expansion. There's also an Italy map on the other side, but we have not played that yet. So we're going to be looking at the Japan expansion. And just keep in mind it is an expansion to the regular base game or the Europe version. So right away I'm going to say that one of the things that uh, I didn't like about this game being that it was an expansion, the rule book, rather than just write a line or two about uh, what the rule was in the base game, would just say, look at the base game. Now, there aren't a lot of rules to Ticket to Ride Japan, or most of the Ticket to Ride games, and I just felt that that was kind of, uh, kind of a little bit of a cop-out, I think, in the rule book, rather than making me double-check in the uh, Europe rule book or the base game rule book. I think they could have just written a sentence or two reminding you, hey, you know, you get four tickets to start or, you know, if you get uh, three, uh, you know, wild, you know, the multicolor engines, you know, you got to uh, redo the, uh, you got to, you know, shuffle the, the the cards. I think, you know, it was just a little bit of a cop out to like just say, see the other rule book. So that's basically really, though, my only complaint about the, the game. Other than that, we really did enjoy this map and I especially enjoyed the theme as I am a uh, someone who enjoys has a side hustle in uh, teaching Japanese history and, and culture. I've also made a number of trips to Japan so I just really enjoy uh, Japanese themed games and this game playing it in this map brought back a lot of memories. you know when I look at the, the Kyoto, I remember, taking the Shinkansen from Kyoto to Himeji. I remember I went to go to Himeji Castle, and uh, I remember there was a lady circling around on her bike when I got out of the, the train station, and it turned out it was a lady who had been taking English at uh, a local school, and she wanted to practice her English talking to me, and I remember uh, when I was done talking to her and I was heading to the castle, I just asked her what was a good place to eat. She gave me these very specific uh, directions, and when I went there to go eat, she had given me directions to uh, McDonald's, McDonald's, so there I'm in Himeji, just went to Himeji Castle, so looking forward to having a great Japanese meal, and she gave me directions to, to McDonald's, but it brought back a lot of good memories like that, so I really enjoyed the, the map and seeing some of these places, you know, I remember uh, my ill-fated trip into to Ginza, where uh, I was denied entry into a, a number of uh, places that were too nice for, for me. And I remember having to go back to the, to the hotel and I ended up at a yakitori stand eating uh, octopus and shark on the, on the street, which ended up being a lot more fun than, than Ginza. But I remember taking the, the bus into Ginza and not getting into all those, those places. So I really enjoyed this map in terms of a lot of the memories going to Matsumoto Castle with uh, Sugimoto-san. Just a lot of great uh, memories, getting those great pancakes in Hiroshima. Um, so I really enjoyed the, the maps. That's one thing I'm going to say about this game. Uh, as someone who has traveled to Japan and likes studying Japanese history, the map was a lot of fun. Now, what was also interesting in playing the game was this sort of, uh, my kid called it like uh, transport. So when you're going to Tokyo, or if you're going on to the island of Kyushu, you're going to be going to places on the map here in the main map and uh, here we go, like Tokyo that's a great example so to get to the Tokyo map here if you're connecting routes you gotta first go here and then you transport to here so that's sort of like a, a more blown up a more specific detailed map same thing you go to Kokora you go here and then you end up here so there is that sort of transport mechanism to uh, connect your your route so that was kind of neat and the other thing that's that's different obviously is the uh the bull trains or the shinkansens where it's the gray now typically in, in ticket to ride the gray you just need the uh same either the wilds or that number of cards of the same color so the shinkansens work the same way but now once you make the route Anyone can use the Shinkansen route to connect their uh, routes here. So you're connecting, you're making Shinkansen routes, which you don't have to put a bunch of your trains there. 
but you're going to put a Shinkansen. And there's a finite number of Shinkansens because there are more Shinkansen routes than there are Shinkansens. Once these Shinkansen trains run out, then they become regular gray routes. But since anyone can use them, now you could be, instead of blocking people from making routes, you might actually be helping them. So that's an interesting mechanic. And we noticed in playing that some of the routes because there's now the Shinkansen mechanism, the routes aren't necessarily worth as much as in some of the other games. Also, you're only getting 20 trains to start with. Now, with the Shinkansens, there's an interesting scoring mechanism because every time you make a Shinkansen, even though you're opening up other people to use routes, you're scoring based on the number of, of trains you 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 cards you use to make the routes. In this case, this was three. So you always put one Shinkansen, but you're gonna it's gonna be scored on a Shinkansen track based on the number of cards you used to make the Shinkansen route. So here you'd be three, here would be two, here would be one, here would be three. And each time you do it, you're gonna move up on this track. Now what happens is at the end of the game, the person who was highest on the Shinkansen route is going to get points, and then it goes down and down until you get the negative. In the two-player game, and this really got me, this was a big way the Little Shogun's team was able to beat me, second place is, is losing. So that was a big 10 points because there's the scores here because the there's less trains, because the the routes aren't worth as much. It's, they tend to be, at least in the two-player, it's a low-scoring game. So that minus 10 was huge. Now, you can't be sneaky and not make any Shinkansen routes because if you don't make any, you lose 20, which is, is big. So the game is very tight. And, you know, Ticket to Ride is, I hate to use that, uh, you know, gateway game or beginner game because it's, it's not. I mean, I'm a pretty seasoned gamer and I love Ticket to Ride. And uh, I'll, I'll never turn down a ticket game of Ticket to Ride. But in general, Ticket to Ride is not a heavy game. There's a lot of strategy involved, I think, you know, obviously with, with there's the element of luck with the, the cards, but there is some strategy with, you know, making routes and trying to trick people, but it's not a heavy game. However, this, this should concentrate because now you got to balance between, you know, making, you know, do I want to play the regular, you know, I want to put down my three yellows, do I want to make this Shinkansen? It becomes a little bit more of a brain burner and makes your choices a lot more interesting. So normally, I don't think of Ticket to Ride as, as a brain burner game. That's not a knock on the game. But this one is definitely more of a brain burner because you have to now start thinking about this track and making trains. And you'll see something here, something clever. As I was running out of trains here, I was able to focus on making Shinkansen's because I was trying to get from Kyoto up here at uh, Amori, and I ran out of, you know, I was running out of trains, so I had to find a way to connect using uh, Shinkansen's. So I really enjoyed this. So again, my one little pet peeve is I think the instructions, they could have uh, included some of the base instructions that wouldn't have, wouldn't have killed them. Even on the regular, this big map here, they did throw this back on in case you forgot how to score, you know, regular trains. But I really did enjoy this. You know, it was very nostalgic for me thinking of all my travels in Japan with, uh, you know, I have a side hustle in uh, education, my travel with uh, teachers or travel with Sugimoto-san, or I did take uh, students to Japan uh, one, one year. So uh, it was very nostalgic to play this. I love Ticket to Ride. Again, you know, I'll never turn down a game of Ticket to Ride. So to be able to combine Japan and Ticket to Ride in Shinkansen's was great. The rules... Again, other than having to maybe check the base rules again, which I thought was, again, a little bit of a pain in the neck. The rules were very easily explained, so this is not, uh, you know, again, there's only like two or three changes from the, the regular game, so it's really easy to, to learn. And, again, keep in mind this is an expansion, so you're going to have to grab cards from either Europe or the base game. If you don't have those, you're going to need them before you can play this and maybe before you go out and buy the base game, I would check, you know, a used game sale or even, you know, the Goodwill because there's plenty of copies of Ticket to Ride 
out there. So I'm glad I found uh, a Europe for like three bucks and I'm able to just, uh, you know, use the cards and uh, the, the trains. So really enjoyed this. And again, it gives you um, a different way of, of looking at it because, you know, little Shogunstein loved to always kind of like block my routes, but now you have an incentive to actually connect the routes because you're going to score on this track. And again, that you'll see here in this, this last game we played here, there was only a one point difference. And that one point cost me 10 points. And let's see, it was 42 in this game to 57. So that was almost the, the, the difference there in the, the game, you know, losing that, that 10 points. So big fan of uh, Ticket to Ride Japan. Check it out. This is the show. Let's do that.